We've got a big update to Surecart and our initial batch of integrations and a bunch of other changes. I'm going to go over all of it right now. Instead of saving the best for last, I'm going to start with the best part, which is our initial batch of integrations. These are going to be native when you're setting up your product. So I've got my list of products right here. I'll just go into one right now and you'll see a new area here on the bottom right that says integrations. You can click on this tab here that says add a new integration. It has this little pop up that appears and then there's the drop down of integrations here. Now you might notice that this looks like a very lean list. This is all the heavy lifting has been done for this and now we can add more integrations to this. Now this list is going to show all the integrations whether that particular plugin is installed on your website or not. So you can see right here the two integrations that we are releasing in this first release is Learn Dash courses and you can see how it's grayed out and this is because I don't have Learn Dash on this site as well as the option here to change the WordPress user role. Now don't underestimate the power of changing a WordPress user role and what that means for you. If you go to Google and I'll put a link to this in the video description down below, but if you go to Google and search for how to make a lightweight membership site for free, I know that's a long phrase. You're going to see this video of mine and in this video, uh, Surecart obviously wasn't out then. I show you how to create a user role, how to assign different protections to a user role and then essentially make a entire membership website that's super lightweight. Now the only problem with this video is Surecart wasn't around so there wasn't a great way of actually taking the payment and switching that user role but now there is with Surecart. So if you do go and watch this you'll watch it for learning how to create user roles, how to assign protections to user roles and you're going to learn a lot about WordPress in this but you'll be able to come back here and change the user role with a purchase. So that's just one of the powerful things you could do with this new capability of changing the user role. Now here I am on a different site and you can see here in the top left, this happens to have Learn Dash installed. So I'm going to go ahead and click right here where it says online course, this is my product. I'm going to click here where it says add new integration and you can see now Learn Dash is not grayed out. I'll choose Learn Dash and then here are a list of courses. So let's go ahead and choose one, click on add integration. And now you can see it there. We've got the Learn Dash logo or the logo for the integration and we've got the name of the course. And if I wanted to add an additional course, I can go right here and I can choose Learn Dash course again and I can choose a different course and click on add integration. And you can see that you can enable multiple of these integrations at the same time and have it attached to a purchase. And then if I wanted to change the user role, I could go right here, change user role. It's going to populate a list of user roles on my site here. So let's just say group leader and then I'll click on add integration and you can see the logo's different and what is happening is clear spelled out right here. Now obviously you can see here we also have the three dots next to each of these integrations and if I wanted to remove one I can click on the three dots and click on delete and it is done. All you need to do now is click on update product. So like I said I will leave a link to this video in the video description. You can see it's a popular video, 100,000 views on it almost and I think you'll get a lot out of it. Also with this update we have made it incredibly easy to to add your own integrations and it's fully covered here in our developer docs. So here's all the info about integrations and how to create your own and here is an example of exactly how we created the user role switcher inside of the integrations and we have code samples down here. So if you are a developer this will be one of the easiest integrations you've ever done. Now the next change is kind of breaking change from the last update. So in the last update there was a video covering how we switched when you're using Stripe to something called the payment element which enables Stripe to allow us to offer multiple gateways that work with them. So if you saw the last video and if you updated to that version you will have seen a different experience on the credit card input portion of your forms. Now what we've gone ahead and done though is we've made that 
opt-in. So it's not forced upon you. You can have it if you want. So when you go to your settings panel, then you can click right here where it says advanced and you can see this new option right here that says use the Stripe payment element. So let me show you the differences just so we're crystal clear. Here I am inside of one of the payment forms and you can see right here is that really sleek payment element, right? It's called the card element. That's what it's the technical term. Um, so you just have everything on this same single line right here. Now I'm going to toggle the payment element on. All I have to do is toggle it on right there. Now let's go ahead and take a look at that same form. So here's that form again. And as I scroll down, there are additional fields in here. So it's also added the country, which pre-populates as well as the zip code. And here's what it's going to look like in the future. So it's the same. We've got the credit card expiration, CCV, the country that auto populates as well as the zip code. But what we're going to be able to do is offer additional options through Stripe if you wanted to use this, which is called the payment element, what I just toggled on. So there can be credit card, we'll probably be adding ACH as well as Afterpay and some of the smaller gateways that I would anticipate uh, Bolero, which is Brazilian. So you can see this is how we've done it. Now it's completely optional for you how you want it. So if you didn't want it, all you have to do is go back into your settings Click on advanced right here and then toggle this off. Make sure you hit the save button. I didn't do it a second ago. And then when you go into your forms, it'll use what's called the card element, which is that more sleek single line payment element. Now the next change is a minor one. I'll go here to one of these, let's see the membership product. And what you see different is we have our list of different prices for this single product. You see right here where it says copy by link. This will always show before when you hovered over that area, then it would show. And it wasn't quite as obvious that if you hovered there, you could copy that by link. So now this button will always be here for you to easily copy into your clipboard and place anywhere on your website. And the last change is some fit and finish to the settings panel right here. If you look on the top right and the last update, we added it so it would show the current version number of what you have installed. And now we've added the SureCart status. So when you click on this, it will open into a new tab on our website and it's going to show you the status of our system and our platform. Now, the reason why these are grayed out is because we didn't have this service working on it, so it can't report on that see how it says not monitored but here you can see when we added the monitor uh, or just a few weeks ago and you can see that it's operational 100 percent uptime just for your information we share the same platform as multi-billion dollar companies that have mission critical applications that hundreds of thousands of businesses rely upon and you'll recognize some of these names salesforce they are massive ClickFunnels, Kajabi, those are e-commerce applications. These are mission critical tools that businesses rely upon and we're using the same exact infrastructure for Surecart. So that about does it for this update. You can download it where the download area is and add it to your website. We can't wait to hear your feedback. Thanks for watching.